check. Oh. Check. Okay.
Hi, everybody. Welcome aboard. Hi, everybody. Welcome aboard. You're watching the Youth 15 between the Blue Ox and the Loons. No score. We're going to eight minutes left in the first period. Loons controlling it in their defensive zone, and now they send it all the way down. Out at center rice, the oxen send it in, and they'll send it up into the net. Winsky with it now. Winsky works ahead, pushes it ahead, out in front of the net, trying to set something up. Uh, unfortunately, a little bit too hard to handle for the oxen. There's a long shot on goal, saved. the other way, played into the far corner. That's a shot stopped by the goaltender. Noah Ruprecht tonight. The goalie for the Oxen. The loons in. The shot sat by Ruprecht. Nice save and eventually a goal scored by the Blue Oxen. And they've tied it up at one. First, Karsten got the re was able to make the save, but the rebound he was not able to, and the Oxen have tied it at one. At 2.12 of the second period, it's 1-1. One, one. Loons control the face off. They bring it into the offensive zone. Oxen trying to clear it out. And they do with a nice defensive play. By Christian Gallitz. Oxen, here's a shot saved by Karsten Lardy. Control the face off. The puck played all the way back down, and it'll be an icing call. Controlling the face off. Now the ox 
space in their own off in their own defensive zone. Knocks in the corner. Play it out to center ice. The Oxen there. They will regroup. 11 19 to go in the first, second period, rather. Play in the far corner. That shot is deflected. And into the net. The Oxen score again the second time in the second period. It's two to one. It's Anthony Mangini. We'll get credit for the goal. Coming at 4.04. And it's two to one in favor of the Ox here in the youth 15. Setting up offensively, there's a shot. It's deflected, eventually corralled by the loons, and now the Ox have it again. The shot saved. The Ox have absolutely dominated the pace of play in the second period. The shot saved again. That one goes wide. It's a shot saved again. And the Ox just absolutely peppering the goaltender this time around in the second period. And that's like another goal for the Oxen. That one a blast from the left point. That's three to one in favor of the Blue Ox. of that one to Mason Langenbrunner. Well, the Ox have scored three times in the first five and a half minutes of the second period, and they lead three to one. Park to flex up into the stands. Loud bang. Send in on goal, and this one will be covered up by Ruprecht. Well, the Oxen have exploded for those three goals. They scored three in the first five and a half minutes of the second period. The Oxen eventually will control the face off behind their own net. trying to work their way out of their defensive zone. Go back into the offensive zone. Player goes hard into the boards. And the loon's coming the other way. That one's sent in wide. 
play moves into the near side corner and we'll have a stoppage. 8.38 to go in the second period. Three to one, the Oxen with the lead. Loons are gonna go on the power play. may be able to stem some of this momentum that the Oxen have built. 838 left in the second period, three to one, the Blue Ox with the lead. And they are not able to get a clear right away. The Bruins hold the zone nicely. Play on the near side board, so Loon's still able to control it. Now the Oxen have it on the far side boards in the corner. The Loon's come out with it. Centering attempt, and that one's blocked on the shot attempt. The Oxen able to clear, they'll come out with it into their offensive zone shorthanded. Loon's back at center rice. Them in three on two. Good job by the shorthanded Oxen with that defenseman not able to let the loon set up. Puck set up into the corner. 7.36 left to go in the second period. Three to one. The Oxen leading the loons. And the youth 15. That shot attempt is blocked up into the netting and we'll have a stoppage with 7.27 to go. Watching the CCM High Performance Tier 1 Hockey Playoff, the Youth 15 bracket from the Schwann Super Rink in Blaine. Loons win the faceoff. Shot blocked. Knocks and push it into their corner. They'll send down into the Loon zone. And the Oxen able to regain control, they'll send it down. Twenty seconds left in the power play. Got the red line, the loon's bringing it in. Power play time about over. 636 left to go in the second period. Three to one, the Blue Ox with the lead. Ox bringing it in offside, so play is stopped. 619 to go in the second period. Blue Ox scoring three times in the second period in the first five and a half minutes. Face off just outside of the Loon zone. The Blue Ox player booted from the face off circle. Blue Ox controlling it in their defensive zone. Loons have it in their defensive zone. They'll push it ahead to the red line and now into their offensive zone. Blue Ox play it nicely. The Loons send it around the back of the Blue Ox net. Here are the Blue Ox, trying to get it out of their zone, but can't. Nice job by the Loons to keep it in. 5.30 left to go, second period. Now at 
center ice. Blue Hawks playing it in the corner. Now sent down into the Blue Ox zone, but the Blue Ox controlling it, and they'll bring it out. Riding up for a shot, that'll go over the top of the net and off the glass. Here come the Loons the other way, past the red line, they'll dump it in. The Rocks control it behind their net, 4.35 to go, second period. Three to one, the Blue Ox over with the lead. Ox into the zone, and a nice save at the other end by Lardy. Ox will maintain the zone as that one goes wide and into the corner. Wax can with the offensive zone again. Here's a shot saved by Lardy. Blue Ox maintaining the offensive zone. Top of the circle, nice job by the Loons trying to get it out, and they will. They'll push it down into the Blue Ox zone. Ox down to play it, 3.33 left to go, second period. It's a shot out front, nice save by Lardy. The rebound comes back out. Blue Ox lose it out of the zone though. Come the Ox back into the zone. Centering attempt is too far. Ox still have it, shot high off the glass. The one-time blast, that goes wide. by the Ox, and the Loons will clear. 2.20 left to go, second period. but comes back down behind the net. And the loon's clear. Ox back to pick it up. 148 left, second period. Three to one, the Ox leading. The shot on goal saved by Lardy. Shot saved by Lardy. He'll fall on it. 122 left to go in the second period. Three to one. Oxen with the lead. Puck 
down into the box zone. They come out with it. We go under one minute left to play. Fifty seconds remaining. Puck at the blue line. The Loons carry it out. And they'll dump it in and they'll change. Thirty-nine seconds left to go in the period. Centering attempt that's deflected. Thought about winding up for a blast, decides to take, drop it down, carry it in, and that goes into the corner. Eight seconds left to go, second period. Fox trying for one last shot. Then we'll go up into the netting and we'll have a stoppage with one second left to go. So the period should be over as soon as the puck is dropped. outside of the zone, and that'll do it for the second period. The Ox score three times in the first five and a half minutes, and they'll go to the second intermission with a three to one lead. It's the youth 15 bracket of the CCM high performance playoff at the Schwann Super Brink and Blaine.
Welcome back for the third period of the Youth 15 between the Blue Ox and the Loons. The Blue Ox leading three to one on the strength of three second period goals. And here come the Ox into the neutral zone. Puck sitting out in front of the net and that one gets sent up into the netting or we'll have a stoppage. There wasn't really a clear victor in terms of strength of play through the first period, but the second period left no doubt that it was the Blue Ox and scoring three times in the first five and a half minutes. Loons control the faceoff, working their way into the offensive zone, good speed from Ethan Shield. behind the oxen net. The oxen into the zone, two on one. Shot goes wide on the nice save. Yeah, it's Carter Clafton, the new goalie for the, or I should say Thomas Curris check, I'm sorry. And goal now for the Loons. Continuing to own the zone. The Loons take possession of it. And they do get a clear. And that went up into the Stands and out of play and we'll have a stoppage. 13.20 left to go in regulation. The Loons trailing three to one to the Oxen. Carrying it ahead. Now behind their net. by the loons that goes over the top of the net. in the far corner. They lead it three to one, 11.53 to go in the third period. Centering attempt bounces over a stick and the loon take control. The Ox have it again at the red line and they'll send it in. Loons have it at the red line. stoppage of play. And a
Cheddar Rice faceoff coming. Seven minutes left to play in regulation. Loons controlling it behind their own net. And they'll push it ahead, try to get it out of their zone, and they finally do with Linsky. Linsky who has the goal for the Loons. Oxen flipping it into the corner. The Loons will go and fish it out of there. From the loons the other way. In with speed and the shot is deflected up over the net and off the glass. We'll have another stoppage, perhaps an offside at the line. Three to one. The blue oxen with the lead over the loons. The youth 15 bracket of the CCM High Performance Tier 1 League Playoffs. From the Schwann Super Rink in Blaine. Patrick Lilia and Al Finley with you. Attempt and scoring are the Loons. Well, the Loons right back in it now, three to two. That'll be Linsky again, rather, my apologies, Ryan Collins with the goal. So Collins scores with 9.42 left to play in the regulation, now just a three to two lead for the Ox. Oxen right back in, nice save by Kurischak. With the Oxen reset, they still control. Shot high over the net, comes back out. Loon's trying to tie this one up. behind their own net. Here they come. And that shot high and deflected up into the net. And we'll have a stoppage with 8.13 left to play in regulation. behind the net off the back of the cage. They come the loons the other way. Oxen to it well at the blue line, but it does go into their zone. The 
along the near side boards, now into the corner. Just wide on the deflection attempt. Oxen looking to go back up by two. That one pushed wide as well. And that one deflected. Good save, just kicking that one aside by Kuriszczak. Penalty coming up, a hold. Or perhaps not, but the play moves down into the other end for the faceoff. goes behind the Loon's net. 6.37 left to play in regulation. Pass goes wide of the net. Loon's playing it behind. Lining up for a one-time shot, nice save. It'll go off the glass. Kuriszczak able to send that one up over the net. With a long shot on goal. Here come the Ox. And that'll go down for icing. 5.36 left to play in regulation. Three to two, the Oxen with the lead over the Loons. Off controlled by the loons, and they'll get it at the red line. Push it down in. And dangerous pass out front. There's a penalty. They're going to go on the power play with 5.13 left to go in regulation in a one-goal game. They're down 3-2. to two. Well, the power play commencing. Loon's chasing it down into their own zone. for icing, and they'll bring it up into the Loon defensive zone. 434 left to go in regulation. So a minute 22 left in the Loon's power play. Loon 
comes into the offensive zone, but the Blue Ox control it there. Sent down in behind the Loon's net. 3.55 left to go. 40 seconds remaining in the power play. Come, could be an opportunity for the Ox, but a good job by the defense. It's a shot shorthanded. Nice save by Kurischak. Three thirty-eight left in regulation. Three to two, the Oxen with the lead. The Loons on a power play for another twenty-six seconds. The face-off deep in the Loon zone. coming the other way with it. Oh, in the far side corner. And the Blue Ox the other way. Loons control it in their zone. Power play is over. And the Blue Oxen are back at full strength. Shot deflected and blocked. <laughs> Two thirty left to play. Oxen into the zone. Shot saved by Kurischak. Two twenty-seven left now in regulation. Three to two, the Blue Oxen with the lead. We'll have a timeout taken. Out of the timeout, the Blue Ox control the face off. The left of Kuriz check. 220 and counting. Left to go in regulation. Three to two, the Blue Oxen with the lead. Moon trying to control it behind their own net. Able to get it to center, but the Oxen send it back in. In the near side corner. Shot score off the, what a setup on the backhand pass. And the Oxen just might have put this one away. What a pass and what a goal. Mitchell Vekic with the goal. That'll put the 
Oxen up four to two with 152 left to play in regulation. Off the face off. Sent down in by the Loons. The empty net now for the Loons. They'll have the extra attacker on, six on five. One twenty-eight left in regulation. Once again, empty net for the Loon. Six on five situation. Oxen controlling it around their net. We'll send it on through. Loon's there to pick it up inside their blue line. One oh four to go. One minute now left to play. And that'll be an icing. Well, the Loons got within one. They spent most of the period only trailing by one, but the Oxen able to get that huge goal just a moment ago to make it four to two. The Oxen send it down, no icing called. The oxen might try to set up for the empty netter. Here come the Loons the other way, 38 seconds left. Four to two, Oxen leading. Big hit on the far boards, and there was a player down, and we'll have a stoppage. It's a huge hit. Able to get up after its own power. Good to see. 21 seconds remaining. Four to two, Oxen with the lead. An empty net at the loon's end. Face off just outside of the Loon blue line. Loons win the face off and control. 17 seconds left. Oxen pressuring. 10 seconds left to play. And that will do it. The Blue Oxen win the matchup of the youth 15 bracket this evening between them and the loons final score the blue oxen four and the loons two thank you for joining us this evening on our coverage of the ccm high performance league playoffs we'll have much more of coming throughout the weekend all day tomorrow we'll have coverage throughout sunday afternoon as well for patrick lilia and al finley and the rest of our crew on site this evening, thank you, and as I said, we'll be here all weekend long for more great action, so don't go anywhere. You're watching the Tier, League, Tier 1 League playoffs from the CCM High Performance League.